What was that? What? Generic control to that goes be here. Back with another Soundsmith video. Today we're watching a man's guide to the force of nature. Last week I reacted to the Beggar's Bazooka, and a lot of people told me to check this one out. You can check out that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also, a link down below in the description. Also, play on my channel with all of my other Team Fortress 2 videos. I also have a gaming channel where I play Team Fortress 2. Uh, should have a video going up tomorrow. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be me trying to do Jump Academy, maybe. I'm not really sure. Don't hold me to that, but that's my plan right now. I just gotta figure out how to join a community server because I've never done that before. So should it be interesting for some reason has the red bar going across this video as if I've already seen it I don't know why that is. I've never even seen this thumbnail before So that's really really weird that it's doing that But I learned about the beggars bazooka last week I'm doing weapon stereotypes on Sunday as well patrons get them a day early and they love it to not have a paywall on the channel So thank you to all of them. It really not really would not be possible without them Also make sure subscribe if you're not already I'd greatly appreciate that as we rebuild the channel and rush towards 26,000 subscribers but let's go ahead and jump on to the force of nature which i is it the shotgun i'm guessing it's a shotgun i'm not really even sure but let's go ahead and jump on into it all right a lot of people enjoy role playing in games i'm not talking about DD players and Trash no can. i'm not talking about mr fervious and yes reddit i do see you over there but the people i'm talking mm, about are reddit. the ones who take characters from a game like team fortress 2 and masquerade as them while they're playing for example we've Wait, got what? the guy who plays soldier who's loud and patriotic and oh okay. maybe a little arrogant the edgelord sniper who insists on being oh, no. a lone wolf and refuses to work with the rest of his team and so edgy you just quit then scope? there's the scout the actual manifestation of everything you want to punch in the face. The thing is, role playing hey, isn't inherently bad. Scared. Like when you have that heavy that just blasts Russian music over the mic and becomes that anchor oh that God. rallies that and happened? pushes his team to victory. But occasionally there's that guy, just like that just one the, guy, the guy that just takes it way too far. I don't and, think I'm uh, that guy. I hope I'm not that guy. And that's where this thing came from. Of course, the nature of the double barrel. God, his like videos outside of website types are so like, high seems like a not really that, good weapon on paper. It has two bullets in the chamber, and while it deals slightly less damage per pellet than stock, it in turn fires more pellets per shot, meaning you're going to be dealing okay. more damage at close range. It also fires faster than stock and has a knockback mechanic that can be pretty insane. Okay, new was a spy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they just timed that with a rocket Unfortunately, jump. Unfortunately, though, this gun is one of those weapons that's really worth less than the sum of its parts. Realistically, you aren't going to achieve much due to the two-shot style. You lose yeah. the consistent oh God, damage that the scattergun offers. The playstyle of this weapon incentivizes is Hello. even more hit and run than usual. Although more often than not, with pub scouts, oh. it's more of a miss and run. Aim I think you do need that garden, and I think you should take me seriously. Cause look at the scoreboard yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got what? numbers on. <laughs> Wait, Yo, what? Did he just? What is going on here? Slowly and <laughs> miss both force and nature shots. <laughs> he did. He really did though. Wait, Yo, why soldier, are they not fighting? Are you going to let him do that to you? Also, it'd be a pretty big what oversight was that? if I didn't talk about what? the extra mobility that you can get while using this weapon. You can use it to get a little extra like a horizontal tournament? distance out I of the I need an explanation. Even use Whoa, it with the cool. winger to jump even higher than you normally would be able to with the atomizer. This opens up a oh, lot of maps in some really interesting that. ways, and it can be used to grab some Somebody kills from some unexpected winger, places. It can also be used to make winger. some cool-looking escapes, too, so... Yeah, for that's me, that's so the sick. main draw of this weapon, since I'm a huge fan of interesting movement mechanics, but that Is doesn't that take away from Titanfall? the fact that the consistent damage of the stock scattergun will outclass it in almost every single situation. As far as I know, <laughs> the force of nature is meant to be a side grade. What this weapon is supposed to do is give you some extra mobility to come from an unexpected Whoa. place and deal an even bigger burst oh of damage God. than that of the stock That scattered. knockback but sounds But in my experience, so it annoying. also fails this, due to the fact that if you get a good meat shot on the enemy, you're going to launch them far enough so that the second shot will do Miss, about as yep. much damage as a stale fox laser. I in my don't experience, know this is match, why most so. fan scouts are usually an inconvenience rather than a threat. Because a well aimed <laughs> shot will put them down pretty quickly, and they struggle to secure frags unlike those with the stock scattergun. This Gun really just results in an annoying piece of shit that never leaves you alone. Honestly, the force of nature is really God, just so your cool. fifth grade bully. Yeah, it's loud, it's annoying, and it'll definitely shove you around a bit, but the moment oh he my comes God. face to face with someone slightly stronger than him, he's gonna be gone faster problem. than the monetization on this video now that I said piece of shit a few seconds ago. I mean, really. If you wanna Wait a minute, don't do that to my video. <laughs> Just like, oh no, just use a soda popper, it's way better. So how do you really use this thing? How does a true much man I've never gotten a full use the force of nature? Out of it. Well, the super secret, not so secret way to play fan scout is uh, just, just go for environmental kills. No, really, like, wait, I not people in the things of 10 hours training with this and perfecting hours. my strategy. Just like, just watch, boop them off the map and run them into sauce. Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet. 
That's nice. right. You're not going to be the one killing them, but you will be the one who helps them take that leap of faith straight into a hole. Now, if you're like me, oh my a God. member of the Church of Skunks, then you'll know that their holy scripture states, Thou shalt not play on any map other than high tower, high tower upward, upward, or is. sawmill. I don't think I've ever played on sawmill or high tower. Because of this, you'll oftentimes see Force though. and Nature Scouts near cliffs, on high up ledges, or... Or that is near neat, saws, though. I guess. That's really just, cool. Just kind of waiting for those unlucky enough to walk near. Oh my All god. Right. Guys, what That's so you brutal. I came out of your screen and put a cigarette out in your eyeball. Yeah. What? what? What do you want? Cl clockwork smurf, you fucking... Long what? Idiot, you fool. Ah, no, oh my no, god. No, oh my no, god. No, no, no. Baited. Oh, right, right. I almost forgot one of the skunt's main tools. Critical. The schadenfreude. Honestly, I think it's one of the funniest taunts in the entire game. Really, what? everyone will think that you're a master comedian if you use it after every single kill. In fact, they'll think you're so yeah, funny that they'll start to feel inferior and follow you around the map trying to kill you so that they can feel better about oh themselves. Oh my god. That's how cool They're everyone so will think you are if you use the schadenfart after oh. every kill. And if you want to take it to the next level, you could even incorporate bind He's... spam into your play. Little known fact about the shooting fruit, oh it actually god. combos into a Lenny face bind. That's right. Whoa. M. Night Shyamalan Wait, really? to Lenny bind is a true combo. Oh, and also Wait, speaking what of combos. What does have to do with this? What? What game is this? What game is this? People always think that the pyro is the combo class of TF2, but the Force of Nature Scout actually has a huge wow, array of okay. combos at his disposal. Yeah? This includes the classic shot and for a Delaney bind combo, meat shot to meat shot eight close parentheses bind combo, taunt to get bodied combo. Yeah. Nice. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Critical a kill to thinking you're really good at the game combo. Assist based domination to easy game bind combo. Extremely powerful uh, forward facing high knockback kill move to infuriating oh. taunt combo. Wait, Sandman and a cleaver combo. Talking about a whole lot of. Wait. Apparently, that's no longer a thing. Anymore. Who, who the fuck wrote this? Yeah, they what? changed oh, that. Uh, that was outdated yeah, that was weapon stereotypes. Honestly, at the end of the day, as a Force of Nature scout, you should be chilling. as much like the scout as possible. I would not walk into that Get in room. character and roleplay a bit. Run fast, hit hard, get all the girls, and uh, also run. be as big of an annoying little shit as you possibly can. I promise Why are there so many scouts? Oh my god. Love you. <laughs> yeah, it's it is. still kind of a shitty weapon, though. I'm gonna go ahead and give the, the Force of hey, Nature two bad. lion paints and a green energy. It's got a lot of potential, but I just really feel <laughs> like it needs to system. capitalize more on its burst damage if it wants to be a reliable Seemed threat. dead inside. I... I don't know. The play <sighs> oh boy. Okay, Clock. so I guess I'm now the producer of an amateur food review series. Michael Bay. We need explosions. That's it. Cabbage what the hell did he turn the show into? All right, let's get on with it and roll the outro. By the way, this video was sponsored by Marketplace.tf because apparently like it doesn't money. exist anymore. You know who else likes money? Everyone. Everyone likes money. If you say you don't like money, you're probably lying. Anyway, you want to know what a great way to save money is? Using Marketplace.tf instead yeah? of the Steam Community Market. You want to know why? Because it's cheaper Apparently than the Steam Community Market. What else do you think I was going to say? Oh, and also you Marketing can sell items rated. there for straight cash, and anything you buy from there is immediately tradable. So that's nice, too. Uh, anyway, click oh, on the link in the cool. description if you like money. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that sounds about right. Apparently it doesn't exist anymore. That's a lot of patrons. Let's see. Let's look for Lazy Purple. Oh, there's Lazy Purple. Wish you could react to his stuff. Because I get literal dozens of comments every single day telling me to react to this stuff, and I can't. Drives me nuts. So, ah, oh, man. Yeah, that was interesting. Force of, the Force of Nature, it has a knockback. So it's basically kind of like, it's just like a boot machine, kind of. It's kind of like Pyro's Air Blast. That's realistically what it is, because you're not trying to really kill them with the damage. You're not trying to do damage. You're just trying to, like, knock them back. But I don't think it works on projectiles like Pyro's Air Blast does. So that's interesting. Let me know you want me to react to next, whether it's other, like, really good gameplay, like Banny or other uh, Uncle Dane or Solo Light or uh, Mr. Swipes and any of those other guys or someone new. Uh, definitely let me know. I would definitely be down. I do read all the comments, so leave some down below. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Check out the gaming channel where I think I'm going to play some Jump Academy. I'm going to do that later tonight, hopefully, if I figure out how to join a community server. And that will be up on the gaming channel. And then Sunday will be more weapon stereotypes. So, yeah, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. And until the next one, cue the music.